Hello guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use and install UTM, which stands for Usable Trade Manager. Now as the name suggests, it is a trade manager, much like Position Sizer, which I've done a video on in the past, or something like Trade Assistant and things of that nature. Now UTM is free, it is only for MT5, I have made the leap from MT4 to MT5 recently, and I find UTM to be faster, more reliable, and easier to use, and easier to install than Position Sizer or any other trade manager that I've ever used. It's really, really good. I'd highly recommend it if you're an MT5 user. Okay, so how do we install it? Well, all you gotta do is make sure you're signed into your MQL5 account. If you don't have one, register and make one, um, and then you'll go to the market and search simply for UTM and there you go there you have it it's uh, this one here there are there is another one which is a paid version it's only $30 um, it has a couple of extra features for me the free version has everything I need you might want to look into this one I'm considering getting it just to pay the developer some money because it's really good I think he or she deserves it but yeah all you gotta do is click on it and press download and then it's gonna download over there and then all you'll do is go into um, go back to your chart go on whatever time frame you use now the reason I got this as well is because NT5 it does have a seconds expert advisor so you can get the seconds time frame on MT5 this is a paid for thing it's 30 US dollars I installed it and then I realized it didn't work with position sizer so I was at a bit of a loss, like, oh great, it doesn't work, I can't actually use it, I can just look at the seconds, but it's no good. Uh, but then I realized it does work with UTM, so if you want to get the seconds on your MT5, and you get this, this is really good, it works really well, provides the seconds in real-time data, um, and loads history as well. The free one we used before, the FX Blue one, you need to load it up like a little while before you started your session, because it starts loading the five-second candles uh, from the point where you open it up rather than showing the history. Anyway, if you want to use this, you have to use it with UTM, uh, which I'm glad about because it's made me discover this great trade manager. Anyway, uh, in this demo, we won't be using the seconds time frame. Uh, da -da 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 -da. So what we're gonna do is, it will be in your expert advisor's market, and then you'll find it there. Drag that out onto the thing. Um, allow algo trading, um, I'll just allow that. Um, and then press OK, and you want to make sure algo trading is enabled up there. Um, otherwise, it won't let you load it on. So make sure that's in, and press OK. OK, so now we are in Usable Trade Manager. So what have we got? We've got, you can select your order type. So you can do limit orders if you want. I'm more of a market execution kind of guy. Uh, or you can do stop orders. Um, either way, it doesn't matter. So let's say we're doing market executions, currency pair, Euro, USD, that's fine. Um, and then here you simply set your risk percentage. So if you're doing 0.5 or 0.25 or 1%, whatever you want to do. Let's just go 1% because we're, we're bad boys. Well, let's, let's just for the sake of the video go 5%, why not? Or, or you can set it as a risk dollar amount like uh, you want to risk $100 per trade, go with that. Um, or you can risk it as a set lot size, so just the exact same amount per trade rather than it being a percentage of your balance or whatever. Um, spread management, I don't use this, but this will kind of adjust the stop loss and the entries to whether there is a spread. Um, you can match that to your broker or you can just do that manually with where you where you put the entries. Um, that's completely up to you. Yeah, that's that screen really. Then the take profit screen. Now, this one, it has the risk to reward levels. You can have up to one, two, three, four, five, or six TPs, each one with a taking a different percentage, um, or you can just have, you know, if you tick them, they'll be there. If, if you don't, they won't. So if you just wanted one TP, um, what you'd have to do is make sure that's set to 100%. Okay, so if you wanted one TP at 10 at R, this is the R factor, at 10 times your risk to reward. Um, and that will just do one full TP, 100% closed there. If, like me, say you did 
uh, at 4R, you took 25%, you would do that. Now, if you had two TPs, previously with Position Sizer, you would have whatever you had as the second TP, you would have it at 75, making the grand total of those two TPs come to 100%. It works a little bit differently with UTM. Um, what you always need to do is have your final TP set at 100% because it will close that percentage of whatever is remaining. So if you had this at 75%, first of all, it would take that 25% off. So you've got 75% of your initial uh, lot position uh, remaining. And then if you had this, it would just take 75% off of that and close and leave the rest running without any TP. Um, so there would be 25% of the remaining 75% left. So yeah, just always make sure that final TP is 100. You know, if you're going to use three TPs, you could have that one as, um, I don't know, 50%, then you'd have the remaining one as 100 if that was your final TP. So yeah, simple enough. Um, and also what's really good about this is position sizer used to open multiple positions, one for each TP, and it would split them. This one, it just opens one position and takes profit um, with actual, actually partialing, so taking lots off the um, initial position. Now, the, the problem with PS position sizer when it used to open multiple positions is that there would be a delay uh, so it would take it time and the more positions the more TPs you had the more positions it had to open and the bigger the delay would be which could mean you know the difference between your entries um, being like a pips difference and you know, when dealing with small stop lots stop sizes uh, that that can be a bit of a pain in the arse um, so this is really great it's just one position and it's really really quick settings okay so colors and all that who gives a um well actually lot traders do care about that colors but you can sort that out it's pretty obvious of the stop loss and the take profit colors what whatever you want it to be additional settings play sounds on stop loss and take profit you do want this because when it hits one of your tps it gives a nice little ka -ching and it, it feels really good um and the stop loss sound isn't too bad. Not that I've ever heard it, liar. Um, <laughs> uh, so, hotkeys. Okay, so this is getting into how we actually place trades. Now, execution mode is the basically what you'll press and it will then show the line. So if you don't press execution mode, you won't be able to place a trade. So I'll show you what that means. So I'm at, I actually have this as D it's always my trading button D I don't know why but I'll show you what this does if we go onto the charts now so because I've got this in market execution this is how it will do it okay so I'll press D now the stop loss hold on let me get this a bit bigger D stop loss becomes where my mouse is so it's up here it's above this high the entry is a market execution, so it's wherever price currently is. It shows you the, if you cut, go off the screen, it will get rid of it so that you're not accidentally clicking wherever, um, which is really good. Actually, it's quite safe. See the spread down here, 0, 0.0 is a demo account. That's why it's so nice. Um, and it shows you the stop loss size over here. So wherever you go. So this is, if I were to place a trade, let's say we went short here, Couple of pips, a couple of ticks above the high, and you would click, and you're in a trade, literally instantly, in a trade just like that. Um, so, yeah, click to enter D or Escape by default to enter the execution mode to bring up this, and then click when you want to enter the actual trade. Okay. Um, so you can also B all positions by pressing B, um, cancel your pending if you're doing limits by pressing F, or switch the order type with backspace. Um, this isn't really necessary, I guess that, that changes from short to long, 
or maybe that changes from limit to stop to market I'm not really sure um, test it for yourself um, but yeah it's it's really really good it's really really fast you see how quickly that placed that order there it was just click and it was in um, and yeah I've, at, at the moment I cannot fault it um, I'd love it if it got to this TP and it played the little sound for the video um, although actually I'm not sure it will pick up the sound I don't think I've got system audio turned on which is a shame so yeah that's pretty much the video I guess I could show it doing the um, what do you call it limit order instead whatever that looks like I haven't actually used the limit order function so it's an experiment for me as well so if you do execution by it in fact we'll um, we'll close this trade or will we can taste a bit of profit there um, yeah, close that uh, it's been two hundred dollars. Should be more profit than that. Sixteen hundred. Where's the sixteen hundred then? Unbelievable. Mugged off again. Um, I don't know what's going on there. Oh, no. Profit 200. Get real. Um, sorry. Uh, so, limit order. Oh, I'm getting annoyed at a demo account. Uh, uh, so, this is interesting because I guess you set your entry first. I'm, I'm going to guess this. So, I'm guessing this is the entry. So, you want to buy down here. And then it gives you the stop loss, okay, after you click. So then you click again, and there you go. And it automatically puts the TP at whatever you've got it in. Uh, you think, oh, what's this? Lot size has been reduced. Might have something to do with it. Either way, um, yeah, it's, it's really easy to use, really good. Sorry, I waffled on a bit at times, but yeah, it's great. Uh, and we will end the video there.